Hi, I'm Barry Olney from InCircuit Design. This is a demonstration of the new Eldium Designer 14 interface uh, from the ICD Stack Up Planner. First of all, I'll go to Eldium Designer 14 and we'll open up a new PCB database. And I'll go into the Layer Stack Manager and I'll load a, um, an 8 layer or 848 layer stack up that I previous created, uh, previously created. Now this has four layers, um, eight layers of rigid board, then a four layer flex in between, and then a eight layer rigid on the other side. Um, I can't quite show you all of it here, but um, that's basically it there. I'll just shrink this back down, which I have to do on the other screen. Okay, so we have that in LGM Designer. So what I'll do now is I'll go to the ICD Stack Up Planner and I'll import that stack up we had in Audium Designer 14. So that was 848 stack up. And you'll see here we have a master, we have a, a, a four layer flex, and then we have another eight layer rigid board. So what we'll do now is we'll um, edit the dielectric materials. So instead of the solder roost, just a standard solder resist, we'll actually add a liquid photo imageable solder mask. Um, which has got up to 5 gigahertz. So I'll select a 5 gigahertz material. There we have it. And we'll add that at the top there. Then we'll change the prepreg. And this needs to be around about free. So um, I'll use ISO 370HR, which is a fairly common material. And we want about a 2.9 in there and a 10 mil core and we'll go down here till we get 10 mil and we add the 10 mil and then we need about a 7 mil to get a 50 ohm um, strip line impedance here so 7.1 because it's 55 close enough for the demonstration and to get the total board thickness we beef it up in the middle the core in the middle we need to add another 4 mil to that so we want about a 14 mill core in the center here. So I'll go down here till I get 14 and that gives us our total board thickness of 62.47 which is good. Now what I'll do is I'll copy um, pre-pregs and cores just to make it quick and I'll copy this 10 down to here. Okay, so there we've got a stack up. Now what I'll do is I'll add some wires to it. So we have a plated through hole wire, which is standard on all multi-layer boards. You have to have at least one wire. And we'll add a blind wire between layers one and two. And another one between layers um, two and three. And then a buried wire between three and six save that. So this brings in our wires to our stacker. Now what I'll do now is I'll create some differential pairs and I'll rename this pair to 5100 and what we need here is about um, to give us 100 103 over there and we'll need about a 10 in the strip line yes another 10 here, clearance, and another 8 clearance in the microstrip bottom line. There. So it gives us rough, roughly 50, 100. Then we'll create a USB pair, which of course are 90 ohms differential, and I'll edit these again to give us 90 ohms. Now ideally what we would like in Elgium Designer is to um, route these um, traces to impedance. Oops, I dragged the layer there. So we would like to, um, and for 80 ohms, I'll need about more there, six, so. six nine ohms. Okay, so we've got about 90 ohms differential, and uh, we want to transfer these um, differential pairs because they all have different thicknesses and clearances. Um, to Eldium Designer so we can then just go off and route to impedance. So what I'll do now is I'll export to Eldium Designer 14 
and we'll select the three layers in the stack up and continue and I'll save that to modified stack up. Okay. Going back into LDM Designer, we'll now open up the layer stack manager and we'll load the stack up that we just created, the modified stack up. And you notice here that the liquid photo image wall mask and um, all the dielectric materials I added from the ISO 370HR range and the associate dielectric constants and thicknesses all come into Aldium Designer. So now we um, just OK that. And again, I'll have to pull this over to my other screen because it's too large. And we'll go to the Aldium Rules dialog. And in the LDM rules dialog, you'll notice that we have all the standard LDM rules. So what I'll do now is I'll import the rules we've just created. And we just have to highlight all these so we can import them. And we'll go to where I created the rules. And here's our modified 8-4-8 modified rule. And we import these in. And so you'll notice straight away that our blind and buried wires come in. We had our standard plated through uh, 8 mil wire, and then we have a, a blind wire, uh, which was from layers 1 to 2, and then from 3 to uh, 2 to 3, and then the buried wire between uh, layers 3 and 6. Uh, we also have the USB. Um, design rules that we brought in from the stack up planner so you notice that the width is 4 and we have gap in the strip line and 4 mil gap in the uh, micro strip and for 5100 we have um, preferred width of 4 on all layers and we have a gap of 8 on micro strip and uh, 10 on the strip line so ok that and then we can go off and route once we've placed all the chips and we can route to impedance in Elvian Designer Thank you very much.